Greetings to everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. So what's uh, on his mind about me? We are going to have three variants. So please pick a stone, pick a card. Let's add some cards in order to find out what is going on between you. The signification cards. Uh, the signification, the first signification. The second. And the third. So please pick a card, pick a stone, and also I'd like to thank you for watching this video for your support by means of likes and comments. Thank you very much. I think that we shall start. So the first, uh, the signification of your relationships. Oh, it's the card of the uh, world. The card of at the same time, it's the peace time, the peace moments. If you had quarrels, everything is going to be okay. You're going to come to an agreement. <clears throat> also, it's the new phase and it's the new stage of your relationships. It's the common support, no matter by means of what, but by means of finances or by means of just advices, moral support, something like that. It's the new step, it's the new page, the new phase of your relationships, the upper level of your relationships. So, if that's correct, let's move on. What's on his mind about you? To do move on and to develop the relationships with you. That's what's on his mind. He has got strong intentions to summon your relationships. To move to strong ties, you know. Probably you are his ex, probably. But it seems that that period of transformation is over. And right now he is really has got strong intentions to move on and to develop your relationships and to move to moon uh, to oh, sorry to move to you see that it's the sort of a waiting process. But well, anyway, it's the big and inten great intentions and strong intentions to move your relationships to be next to you and uh, physically be next to you and uh, living under one roof. That's what he wants to. Um, he, he, as far as he wants to give one more chance. Uh, he feels himself really sorry and upset and sad and had a depression being without you. Uh, the moment when everything was over was really uh, tough and hard for him. He was really suffering. That's why he really wants to move on and to come to the upper level of your relationships. Uh, if there was a woman another woman girls I mean probably a lover or something like that uh, he's telling that I don't need her anymore he's he's turned back to her it seems that well I should tell that there is no intim absolutely with them between them and also he doesn't know what to do in order her um, to push away you know to separate with her So what else? He is uh, offering her something just uh, to come to an agreement, to separate, not by means of quarrels, but um, calm, something calm. What else on his mind about you? He's appreciating you. He wants to be the a very reliable person in your life, for you, exactly. And yeah, as I have told you, he's going to um, make actions to restart your relationships again, uh, to turn them up to their upper level. As far as there was, a, it seems like a sort of a fast transformation, or there was a great and big quarrel, because again of his actions, because he has got um, women, I should tell you. Uh, he, probably he was behaving himself like sort of a, I don't know, Casanova. 
something. But you are his son, you are his happiness, and there is really a great wish to turn back you and turn back your relationships to come to an agreement. Um, if you have children, common children, it's not for all of you, but for some of you, it's, can, it can be actual. Uh, he wants to, sorry for those words, but um, to use them on his way to you, you know? Something like that, in order to be next to you. Okay, so that was the first card. So the second card, greetings and welcome to my channel. Thank you for your support by means of watching, likes and comments. Uh, the signification of your relationships. What is there? Oh. Hm. Just look at this. If it's yours, if you've got an opponent, if he has got some women and there are lots of quarrels, it seems like um, if it's your situation, <coughs> let's find out what's on his mind. What's on his mind about you? Um, there are hesitations, you know, there are hesitations to offer you something, to make you a gift, or just to start something new with you, as far as you, on the one hand, you are probably his ex, uh, also probably you are his colleague, as far as we've got here, a pentacles and the queen of swords, and also these cards can show just your attitude towards him, probably you behave yourself, uh, pretty cold that you don't uh, show him your feelings you don't tell him about your thoughts about him exactly that's why there are some hesitations to do or not to do to make or not to make that's why uh, as I told you lots of hesitations and he's trying to balance he wants everything to be correctly and um, he really hopes to receive a chance, a chance to leave that dead end that was between you as far as, um, since that there was a sort of um, stagnation probably in your relationships, when there was a distance, the, when there were, there was silence, only dreams just being together. So, and according to the signification, it seems that you girls may suspect him that he has got somebody else, you know? Or you had received some information about his, I don't know, actions, probably. <coughs> okay, what else on his mind about you? What's on his mind about you? What else? You're very special for him, I should tell you. And he's telling that uh, no matter how many girls uh, and women are there around me, I prefer you. You are the special one. You are sort of, um, has got a, that magnetism that uh, he really enjoys. Stability. On his mind is stability with you exactly. Just look at this card. Hmm? Really? <clears throat> that's what's on his mind he wants to be next to you it's the passion it's the feeling of support it's the feeling to make all those efforts in order to move to you and look again at this card what he wants to nine of pentacles it's the card of being in a sort of a, a paradise of uh, the relationships and also I should tell you he is missing you Moreover, I should tell you that he's jealous that you also have got, um, I don't know, fans, it seems like this. And that um, he's afraid that he has got opponents on his way. And also, I should tell you that he's afraid to find out that you've got 
somebody else. What else is beyond his mind? <laughs> Great and big passion, actually. He's running for you. He's really worried. He is worried and upset, as I have told you. He's afraid to find out that you've got somebody else. As far as he wants you to be his stability. Okay. So, the third card. Greetings and welcome to my channel. Thank you for your support by means of watching this video. Um, the signification of your relationships. Let's find out what is there. Uh, it's a pretty close position, I should tell you. Probably there is uh, the distance, probably it's the silence, uh, but it seems that right now it's the period of stagnation. Probably you block each other. Well, anyway, you don't talk, you don't meet, you don't communicate here. Pretty close position. It seems that uh, probably you are offended to each other, something like that. Uh, you can physically meet each other somewhere, but there is no, um, there are no co con conversations, you know, no talks. So, if it's yours, let's find out what's on his mind about you. What's on his mind? Uh, he's angry, I should tell you. Uh, the person is such kind of a lovable boy, man, who has got women to choose from. There are also some hesitations, whom to choose, whom to prefer, I mean, among the women around him. But he considers you, girls, he considers you as a very special woman who really matches him. Despite the fact that he has got lots of women around him, I should tell you. He is totally concentrated uh, on you. You are the woman whom he needs. You are, he considers you like a sort of a perfect couple. You see? He is jealous. <clears throat> he is jealous that uh, no one woman around him looks like you, probably behaves like you. Uh, there is nothing in common. Probably um, there is a common appearance or something like that, but it's not you. That's why he is jealous. Uh, he is angry that he can't forget you. Despite all those women, you are still um, the most special. What else on his mind? It seems that um, despite the fact that people judge him for something, for his actions, for his de decisions, uh, he wants something new. What's new? <laughs> he wants to be with you. Uh, it seems that there is a sort of um, impossibility. I don't know why. Prob maybe you've got, according to the Empire, probably he's not free or you've got an impair or something like that well and also i should tell you or probably it's just his father who really argues him and judges him for his actions but he really wants to be next to you despite the fact as i have told you that there are people who really um are not agree with his decisions but he wants to offer you something. He wants to come, to move, to approach, and uh, to find out whether you've got somebody else. And also, he wants to receive a sort of a chance uh, to be your stable person, you see. That's what's on his mind. 
but also I should tell you that there are lots of um, there is a sort of an information that he doesn't know I should tell you and you don't know according to the high priests something is going to change in his life to ruin something in his life and the new cycle of uh, something is going to start in terms of what seems like in terms of uh, the Empress I don't know who this Empress is so probably uh, it seems that he's supposed to find out something about your life that you just got somebody else or you were going to marry somebody just it's I don't know and it will make him very sad so that was third card so thank you for watching have a good day Bye.